Don't tell me we're talking about the boy from LAU. I don't say LSU, man. I say LAU because, man, that boy is super fast, dog. We're going to talk about Terrence Laird, man. Um, I've, been, I've been wanting to talk about him, to be honest with you. Because um, right now, as far as, like, the track world's concerned, he's just a big talk. You know what I'm saying? He's a big talk. Been running incredibly fast this year. Been taking care of his body. Doing his thing for LSU. Collectively, LSU's just been doing a fantastic job all across the board in track and field. But this man, bro, oh my gosh now. Terrence Laird, right? Pennsylvania guy. Went went to um, Penn. Uh, then decided to transfer. Go, went into Heinz. Very good. Very good um, Juco, especially for track. Very, very good Juco. A lot, of, um, a lot of good athletes come out of there. A lot of good track athletes come out of there. Let me backtrack a little bit and then you transition on to LSU or what I like to call LAU bro oh my. so you know I decided to watch some tape bro just to see you know just keep up what he's been doing and this is you know this is SC championships this was roughly like two weeks ago um but just the way he just runs bro. personally I think he's a better 200 guy because I feel like um I feel like when he starts gearing up uh he not only can he build, not only can he just cover so much ground, but his frequency just is just insane. You know what I'm saying? He's able to uh, on these four by ones. He's just able to get out and just hop people down, just track them down, and, and, and you know get the win. But uh, but he's definitely a good 100 guy. And um, I, I'm watching this hundred, and you know you got Matthew Bowen, you you got um. You got Lang from Kentucky. You, you got um that freshman from FSU, Joseph. Uh, really good heat. Um. Highly winnated, uh, but nine eight. Come on, oh, nine eight, and it even looked like when he when he finished, it even looked like he uh completely finished through. It looked honestly, this is just me. It looked like he, it looked like he just cut it off. It looked like he, it looked like he just cut it off. But that's just me. I, I don't know. You know, someone could. It's the finals, but I'm I'm just gonna be honest. He looked like he had a lot of breathing room to the point where he was just like. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna turn it off. You know what I'm saying? But um we're gonna watch this bro and I'm just gonna analyze it and just man that boy that man is just different dog that man is just different bro anywho you got your boy Matthew Bowling also having a pretty good year there go mama there goes that man <laughs> there goes that there goes that man L A U baby L A U dog come on that's that's Hard. Come on. There go that freshman I was talking about earlier. Also fantastic year too. I love I love the way he transitions. The way his transitioning is crazy. But bro. Oh and this is the finals, bro. This is the finals, bro. This is oh, for all the marbles. All the marbles. Matthew, Joseph, Terrence, Lang. Come on, bro. This is a good ass heat. Good ass heat, bro. And right here, this is what I love the most. This is where you get in the blocks, bro, and you just execute. You just gotta execute, bro. Everything is just muscle memory. Good start, good drive, comes out of the drive, now he's transitioning. Right about here, he's just transitioning, relying straight on form right there. And he just looks like he, and he did so smooth, you know what I'm saying? Some of these runners, you know, when, when they're running 100 meters and, and you know, and then on, some of, some of these guys, you can tell by their fa facial expressions, they tend to tense up, and once it starts from the face, it goes all the way down the body. But the way that Laird runs, everything is just so smooth. Look how he just gets out, gets out, he drives, he pushes back into the ground. He digs, 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 and then he just begins to transition. He gets his knees up. He gets up real tall. Look at that. Perfect form. And he just smooth sailing. And he just looks like he just he just shuts it down. Like, that's... Come, bro, we're going to watch that. We're going to watch that again. Gets out. Drives real hard. And he's just... He's just transitioning. That's just form. That is just form. Oh my gosh. Now back to what I was saying. Look look at the rest of the guys in the field. 
right? You start to see some of these guys tense up. They start to, there's no more posture integrity. They start to lean a little bit and that just messes up your form. You know what I'm saying? In a world track and field, everything is based off form. Don't get me wrong, there's a mixture of talent as well, but to separate yourself from the rest, you know what I'm saying? You have to implement that. It's all about fundamentals. It, it, it's all about, some, sometimes it gets, to, it gets down to the point where it's, it's even about your breathing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's about your breathing. Sometimes it's about your, your, your head posture. Some guys, they, they keep their chin down. Some guys keep their chin up. And like that messes up with a lot of things as far as like power, foot strike. You know what I'm saying? Keeping some, some guys have their shoulders up. And you're, you know, you're not supposed to do that. Have your shoulders down and be more relaxed. And Terrence Laird just does it all. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, uh, I think he's a better 200 runner. Um, I'm not going to sit here and classify that like, oh, he's strictly a 200 guy. I just feel like personally, if you ask me, I think if you want to, if you want a really uh, a good sight to see, I feel like his 200 goes crazy. <laughs> his 200 goes crazy, bro. Because he just, it comes off the bend and he just Bro, he just tears it up. He starts accelerating through, and like he says on Instagram, gas to the pedal, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gas to the pedal. Um, I really like this guy. I love the way he runs. Um, I like the way that, you know, LSU is, uh, as far as keeping these guys healthy and making sure that they run fast, something in their routine or regimen that they just do that it, it works. It's beneficial for the athletes and they're still running fast. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty late in the season. And some guys, you know, some guys just PR early, you know what I'm saying? But these guys are continuing meet after meet to get faster times. You know, they're healthy throughout the prelims, the semifinals, finals, like they just, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a really good program. Hey, credit to LAU, hey, Terrence Laird, keep doing your thing, man, run fast, boy, Mark 400.